Hey guys, this is Gus from Runaway Acres. How you guys doing? So, been a little busy around here. So, been a little busy around here, and uh, been a little hectic around here. Uh, something's going on with our dogs out here, out back. They escaped, and uh, about wiped out our population on our chickens. We don't. The only thing that we can think that they're still pups, and and the chickens are flighty, and they're not with the chickens. We try to have them with the chickens before and they attack the chickens and wanted to eat the chickens I don't think they're wanting to eat the chickens I think they just want to play with them oh you poor guys <laughs> this morning I kind of shut the gate on them a little bit but they could push it open usually goats must have came along and finished pushing the clothes on them Sam and Sadie, they uh, got a hold of uh, all of our turkey neck chickens that we had and uh, a couple of our uh, Muscovy ducks and they got out. I don't, somehow that they pushed that gate open and spun the latch around and then literally climbed over that farm gate right there and then Sadie dug a hole there, there to get out. Sam climbs the gate all the time. He's That's not his first time. What was that? It's not the first time that Sam's closed his gate. Sorry that I'm a little dirty. Just got home from work. And uh, Sadie will dig under the gate to get out. And then got a hold of another, another chicken, a rooster. And uh, he's not in pretty good shape. He's uh, pretty scared. He's pretty... Uh, tore up <laughs> he's got no feathers on his back <laughs> oh look at Bea oh Bea Bea how you doing there Bea come here come here Bea huh come here Bea hi Sadie girl Sadie's coming get some lovings I'm sorry for getting the chickens Oh, I'm so sorry, Dad. <laughs> piggy, piggy, piggy. Bea, 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 pig, pig, pig. Oh, gotta go to the bathroom. I woke, her, woke you up from your nap. <laughs> you guys are wanting their lovings. <laughs> so he's like, don't pet him, pet me. <laughs> But when an animal attacks, dog attacks a chicken, I don't know what's the correct way to, to punish them. All you can do is yell at them, they just cower. And, um, only thing I can do is just bring the, the bad chickens on out and tell them no, 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 and then not love them for about a day. I got a job here to do on the farm is protect all the other animals. Back here, this back half is a little bit over an acre and they run it with the goats. They keep the goats safe. There is coyotes in the area. There are there are dogs that do get out and come on in. So they have a job to do back here. And I understand that chickens are flighty. And uh, that's probably what provoked them to to attack them and they probably got out and saw the chickens they probably sat there and looked at them probably one of the little chickens jumped at it and and Sam and Sadie says oh chew toy I got a chew toy that moves 
<sighs> but uh, the little guys are in the garage right now. Been in there for about a week now. And uh, week tomorrow. And then uh, I got one in the greenhouse, a black rooster. And uh, we thought we'd be all right to come on out. He's only been locked up for about a day and a half. And uh, I don't think it's fair to let him out because our white rooster is punking on him, punking up on him pretty good. So Well, here's the black rooster. He's in there. He's missing all his back feathers and most of his tail feathers. Not a very happy man. Not at all. All right, it's a little warm in this greenhouse, and so I had to take my coat off. So, um, in the last video, I put some raised beds in there, and, uh, and I had a question about dirt for the raised beds. And, uh, well, there's a couple ways. There's that raised bed. There's that one right there. I'm getting ready to put some, uh, it's all going to be full of uh, lettuce, uh, the um, like a romaine lettuce um, type or or uh, butter lettuce, butter leaf lettuce um, that's going to be in there. And uh, somebody asked a question about, well, what about dirt, how much dirt and everything. So, alrighty. Let's see here. I got to find me a tape measure. All right, found my tape measure. All right, so back to the raised bed here. And uh, we're gonna measure this out without the, uh, the arcs. We're just gonna say it's gonna be a rectangle. I know there's a radius or an arc, whatever you wanna call it. Um, but uh, like I said, somebody asked that question about how much dirt do I need for one of them raised beds? All right, so what we got is we're at 48 and a half inches. We're just going to say four foot, okay? And then the width is two foot, five inches. So it's 29 inches. So we're going to just say 2.5. It's going to give you a little bit of extra dirt because it's got these uh, this arch in here. It's not a perfect rectangle. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 4 times 2.5, which is 10 square foot. So this is 10 square foot if it was a perfect rectangle. All right, but we got some arch arcs in the in the corner, so not worry about it. It's not a perfect rectangle, so somebody was asking the question. Well, bags of soil or dirt does it by cubic feet. All right, so this is about. All right, you can see the hole right there, and I took tape measure and went down in there and took it all the way down there, brought it to the top of the soil. It's a little bit over nine inches. But when you're wetting it down, it's going to be right around the, the 9 inch mark. All right, so we take that. So 9 inches of 12 inches is 3 quarters of a foot. So that's 0.75. So 10 times 0.75 is going to be 7.5 cubic feet. So you'll need 7.5 cubic feet to fill this up. All right, so you can take that number for one of these and go to the store, times, uh, you know, look at the bag. If the bag says 10 cubic feet, all right, man, you got your, you got your bat, you got your raised guard, raised bed filled, and then you got some extra dirt on that bag itself. All right, got a couple bags here. So the Pro Mix General Purpose BX. The rooster decided to get out of his cage. That poor guy. He got really beat up by the dogs. Alright, so this Pro Mix bag does 
3.8 cubic feet. For its um, bag of soil for general purpose, it's actually sun grow. And uh, I really like it. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. Everybody's got their own preference. And this is 2.8. Alright, so you now granite. Now listen up, alright. So this is a compressed bag. The Sun Grow or Pro Mix has it written compressed. Alright. And uh, once you open it up and pour it in, it's going to expand out because it's got a lot of peat moss in it. Um, so it will expand. But like I said, this this right here, raised bed, took that full black bag and a bunch of other... Actually, it was almost... That was in there. Um, took a lot of dirt out of there and put it in here. Um, to fill it so and that that bin right there is leftover bags of dirt or pots that we didn't sell and we just take the dirt uh, take the roots out and we put it back in there so we got it back you know reusing the dirt instead of wasting it but um, you don't have to buy dirt um, People says, you know, when you do a raised bed, there's a lot of money. Um, I don't like doing big raised beds. Um, they cost a lot of money to fill with dirt. And there's ways around it. Um, when we were up in Michigan, and uh, I had raised beds. We had raised beds here and there, uh, everywhere. Um, and it was quite costly to, uh, to buy bags of dirt and put it in there. So I personally like bulk i will actually go get a dump trailer um or whatever just dump it in my drive next to my driveway or next to my garden and i just pull out of it all summer long or all spring all winter it don't matter i, I always went through a truckload couple truckloads of uh dirt all year round so um that's what i normally do so you know it's very very cheap that way i think uh up in michigan it used to be 39 dollars for processed topsoil and that would actually go through a drum and it would filter out all the weeds and and all the fine dirt would come out the bottom and all the rocks and roots and tree bark would hit on up to the top so that's processed topsoil all right um but uh there's lots of things to do about getting dirt uh, one is actually building a raised bed, okay? Um, I did this for many years. I just built a raised bed, and I would throw all my uh, scraps in there, my leaves. Um, I would throw whatever plants or bad vegetables or bad fruits, um, eggshells. And I had some friends that had some cattle. I would go get some cow manure and throw it in there. And I would let it decompose, you know, and just let, leave it in there. And uh, then a couple of years later, it's ready to rock and roll. And you have this perfect soil. Perfect. That's what I would recommend to do. If the cheapest way. Like I said, I like to go get some kind of stuff, you know, or dirt. So this is the, the top soil I got it from. From a local place around here and uh it's got a lot of tree bark in it a lot of, this is the fine millings that's left over from like the hammer mill or whatever or a conveyor belt whatever drops um it's still pretty warm you know i mean it's i shoveled out quite a bit out of there and it was warm but we use it i will go get a bag of uh perlite and i'll stick it in in with this um that's what we use and there we go right there there's two dump trailer loads of uh of topsoil or compost and it composts all a lot out there i mean it's always working it's piled up high the compost is always working so now remember 
one thing when you go get compost and uh, smell it um, when you buy a bag um, if it has an odor to it it's still breaking down when it's done breaking down it pretty much does not have an odor sassy coming back in sassy hey fat dog you coming back in <laughs> See, a lot of moisture. I got a lot of moisture in here. I still, I don't know why the fan and the lights not uh, running. Back to what I was saying. Um, when you get dirt, topsoil, or compost, and it has a strong odor to it, it's still breaking down. There's nothing wrong with it not breaking down. But the one thing I do not like about it, and the one thing you got to be careful about, is... If it's not broke down all the way, if it still wants to break down, it's going to steal all the nitrogen that you put into the soil. So it's going to steal away from the plants. That's the reason why I, when I do dirt and everything, I get dirt. Um, I've tried to put perlite in it. Um, I use the Echo Scraps bag, and I use, and I put, I put, you know, like I said, a good little handful, and I would just work it in the top couple inches. So it adds nitrogen. And don't be afraid to use not the whole bag. I mean, don't be afraid to add a little bit of nitrogen here and there, you know. Um, I What I normally do is I add a little handful, like like I said, to, to this, and I work it in, and then I let it set. Bef and I water it. Be now, before I plant my plants, this will sit like this for about a week, and I will add some more, another handful of the e Echo uh, Scraps. I think I said scrapes in one of my videos, but it's scraps. <laughs> I was looking at the bag afterwards. I was like... But, uh, and I'll add some more. Let that sit for two days before I add my plant. The third or the fourth leaf coming out, I'll add a little bit more. And into the soil and I will just kind of rake it around not on top of the plants just around in between the plants just take it and like you add some seasoning salt to your food or salt or pepper just a pinch you know a little bit here a pinch here a little here <laughs> I'm not a dirt scientist I'm just doing I know what works and I've seen I've learned from other people and I've seen other people do it I just I go with it and then and then afterwards, I do it a few times, and then I'll start experimenting by myself. You know, I mean, I'm sharing what I've done in the past. It might not be right, you know, but it's working. All right? And that's all what counts. I'm no scientist at all, or a biologist, or a microbiologist, or whatever. I'm just a good old hillbilly, redneck farm boy that just loves the plate and dirt and just loves eating fresh vegetables. Now you can't tell. I, I have a problem with dairy products. I love dairy products. Place to house process topsoil and then find a, some kind of a greenhouse place that or nursery that sells perlite. You can get some dirt and just add some perlite to it. And don't be afraid. Hey, I know there's too much called perlite and everything, you know, but it's not going to hurt it. You can see how much perlite's in there. There's a lot. But uh, peat moss is another one I can always keep around. I'm trying to keep out of the sun here. The sun's bright. Um, keep peat moss around and everything. Um, that's a good thing to always have. We uh, Our strawberry patch up in Michigan was uh, completely was peat moss in the raised bed. And that was actually a nice raised bed because it was actually three and a half foot off the ground to the bottom and then it came on up and then it was uh 12 inches 10 inches uh height and peat moss and man i tell you what the strawberries would jump I and mean, we had so many plants in there we were giving out plants left and right um peat moss and a little bit of topsoil um now our our uh Hey, look at that, Mr. Rooster. How you doing there, buddy? Yeah, he looks a little bit better. 
Yeah, he lost a lot of feathers. Them dogs really had him really tore up. I mean, he was pretty stressed out. Thought he was going to die of a heart attack. He really did. But I brought him in the greenhouse, so it was nice and warm in here throughout the day. And yeah, it's a little cold at night, but... The other chickens must smell him because they're right outside the door. I just add to the video. I don't know where that chicken went, but he's in here somewhere. I gotta before I wrap it up on in here and go inside. All right, guys. So if you like what we're doing here, and uh, so uh, subscribe to our channel, and uh, once you. Uh, Share our videos on your Facebook or Twitter account or Google's Plus, whatever you want to do it. Share it. Share our channel. And uh, remember, we always like that thumbs up. Look, I don't even have a green thumb. I got a black thumb. That's why I'm not allowed to be planting. <laughs> Hit that thumbs up like button or thumbs up button. We like that. That helps out. And uh, don't forget the bell. A little ding-a-ling, ding-ding bell. I love that thing. <laughs> I like it when I, I got it on other people's channel, man. That thing rings and rings and rings all day long. I'm subscribed to a lot of channels. My so, remember guys, share our channel. And uh, join our Facebook page, too. Uh, Facebook page is Runaway Acres. We have two of them. One's a business page and one's a normal, regular face, Facebook page. So... Just look up Runaway Acres or Runaway Farming or Runaway Homesteading. You should be able to find us on Facebook, so. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> they like it whenever other people watch the video, too, don't you, Sam and Sadie, huh? <laughs> I got some uh, cedar out there. <laughs> <laughs>